10.7b quadratic formula make equation equals zero. Before we can use the quadratic formula, the equation must equal zero and it must be in order. In other words, you, it should be in ax squared plus whoops, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So it should look something like this. If you look at example one, you'll notice that our equal sign is somewhere in the middle of our formula. So what we want to do is we want to get everything on one side. So we're going to subtract 15 and add 7x to both sides and we're going to put it in order. So we now have 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 equal to 0. Now that it is in order, we can apply our formula. Now remember our formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So because we have an a that is 2, we have our b which is 7, and we have c which is negative 15. So we want the opposite of our b which would be a negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared. The question frequently comes up here whether I need to make um, my 7 a negative and the answer is no because when we square a negative it becomes positive. So we have 7 squared minus 4 times our a which is 2 times our c which is negative 15 all over 2 times our a which is 2. We simplify that down. In other words we do our calculation and we're going to get that we have negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 169 all over 4. We can take the square root of 169 and that will give us negative 7 plus or minus 13 all over 4. So now we have negative 7 plus 13 over 4 which is going to give us 6 fourths which will reduce to 3 halves. Then we have negative 7 minus 13 over 4 which will give us a negative 20 over 4 which will reduce to a negative 5. Therefore our solutions are x is equal to negative 5 and 3 halves. Let's go to example 2. Again we want to have everything on one side of the equation and have it equal to 0. So in this case we're going to subtract 7 from both sides and we'll now have 3x squared plus 5x minus 5 equal to 0. Our 3 is our a, 5 is our b, and negative 5 is our c. So plugging this into our formula, we're going to get negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times our a, which is 3, times our c, which is negative 5, all over 2 times our a, which is 3. Simplifying what's inside the radical, we now get negative 5 
plus or minus the square root of 85 all over 6. Because 85 is not a perfect square, we will leave our answer just like this. So we have x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 85 over 6.